here we are with our fifth episode of Keeping the Flock Informed. My name is Eric Morgan. I work in the admissions office mainly with our athletic recruits. And here we are today with Camille, and she is the Wellness Center Director, and so she's going to show us around our facilities today. Hi everyone, I'm happy to be here with you, and we're just going to head into the Wellness Center first, and we'll do a little tour of that. And then as you can see, later on, uh, the building's connected to our athletic facility as well, so we'll go in there uh, after the Wellness Center. Come on this way. So this is just our entry. Um, it's our front desk where you, uh, all students check in, as well as our members. Uh, we have a card swipe system, so it's pretty simple. And then we also have our um, exercise science uh, classroom back here. Uh, so you can come back here and see what uh, all the technology looks like. So here's the, the classroom where uh, our exercise science students are at. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of equipment back here uh, that it allows us to measure um, body composition, so we have the bod pod back there, as well as the in-body testing, and so that's a, it's a really nice uh, equipment that allows us to, to test uh, uh, different bodies and how well in shape you are and what you need to know. All right, so you wanna come back on here and we'll just do a tour of the first floor. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to comment on there and we'll get those questions answered for you. Yeah, so this building actually opened in 2016. It's about a $15 million facility. Um, a lot of hard work went into to getting this facility on our campus because um, before there was a shared, shared weight room uh, between the athletics and everyone else on campus. So now this building is specific for students. Um, and uh, also our, our members, uh, which are just made up of mainly our faculty and staff on campus. Um, this facility is has got two gymnasiums where a lot of our intramurals take place. We offer basketball, three-on-three, five-on-five, uh, co-ed, volleyball, floor hockey, badminton, um, and basically uh, we also have archery. Um, so there's just a lot of different different activities, equipment that can be checked out for all of our students. Um, we have uh, boxing back there, um, as well as some lifting equipment in the corner. Um, so yeah, there's soccer, uh, there's a soccer club. So there's really, really anything that a student wants to try, uh, we have. Is the equipment, is there a cost associated with renting out equipment? Nope, there's no cost associated. So as long as you're a, a fee paying student, you're able to come in and we also have hockey skates uh, that you can use at our local arena as well. So, um, and then, you know, if you have an idea that we maybe don't have, um, we have a, a good budget uh, that we are able to provide with students and what, what their needs are and what they would like to see. So it's, it's really a student driven building. What is your most popular intramural? Most popular would have to be uh, volleyball or uh, basketball. Yep, as far as team sports. So, yeah. And then um, down here in the first floor is really our, our weight room. Uh, we also have ping pong that can be set up here or in the gym. Um, this is our inter intramurals mural, so the champions get posted up there um, of, of different leagues. And I'll uh, walk through the weight room here just to get the lights on. Um, so really, this is a, a weight room that has whatever, whatever your needs are. We have different machines, dumbbells, squat racks, uh, benches. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty fluid weight room, easy to work out in. Um, we have staff on hand that uh, helps you with any equipment that you maybe don't know uh, how to use. We also offer some individual plans if, if that's what you'd like to sign up for. 
Um, and we also have a lot of student staff um, that loves to work in here and loves to help out students uh, with any questions that they have. Um, we have two locker rooms back here, one for men's and one for women's. Um, they mirror each other. Uh, they have showers in them as well as bathrooms and lockers. So we have lockers out, outside here for people to put their equipment in or, or in the locker room. And we have uh, locks that can be checked out um, that, where you can pick a locker and use that lock for the day. Um, and so that's, that's nice and easy. And then back here is our uh, multi-purpose room. Uh, so we can have cycling classes, yoga classes, um, kind of different uh, weight room type or weight classes. I'll uh, get the lights on here. Um, we also have this fitness on demand. So what's nice about it is um, you can start a class here. Uh, it probably hasn't been used for a little bit, so we'll see if it fires up for us. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's probably got to go through a little bit of a system update. Uh, so we'll get that working for the, the beginning of class. But what you do is you can go on here and click on here and you can get yoga, cycling classes, and then that screen up there comes down and it, it uh, has a, it shows you different workouts. Um, so whether it's an ab workout or yoga or whatever, really whatever you like, it's got probably a thousand classes on there. So it's a, it's a nice, easy way to get a good workout in. Do you do that on your own time or are there scheduled times like, hey, we'll do a yoga class for anyone interested at noon on Friday or? Yeah, so we've done it both ways. Um, we found that a lot of people like to just come in and do it on their own. We, we, we do have things scheduled, but a lot of times when they're scheduled, they're with a, a person, in in-person class. Um, with this fitness on demand, it's a, it's a good way uh, for people if they just would like to do something on their own or with a group of friends. Um, it seems like that's how it's been used uh, in the past, but things can be scheduled as well. And do you, do you receive any credits for taking a class like yoga? Um, not right now. I mean, there is, I think, offered a class through the university, but as far as if it's just us offering it, it's, it's not credit-based. All right. So the next thing we'll do is we'll head on upstairs. Uh, the upstairs is mainly our cardio area. Um, there is a few free weights up there, but it's, it's mainly cardio. Um, so uh, it's kind of a, a nice setup in a way um, to... We have weights on one side, gym, and then cardio, so different activities are going on all the time. And just to also, um, if you're a student wondering, um, a lot that we have about, uh, I'd say, 40 Staff members are students through intramurals or working the front desk um, or cleaning the facility. We also have internship opportunities. So if you're somebody that thinks you want to work in, in athletics or wellness, um, we have various internship opportunities uh, when that comes up. So there's um, it's more than just a workout place for students. Um, you can work here, you can apply. Uh, so I think that's also a major plus. Are they work study jobs? Nope, these are not work study. Um, you, you, these are non work study, so you don't have to qualify to uh, be, you, anyone can apply as, as well as our internships. Uh, so we have um, just a number of different cardio machines. Um, this side is Life Fitness. Um, so, and then we also have a little free weight room back there. And then we have two different types of treadmills, Life Fitness and Woodway. Um, the Woodway or the Woodways are um, a little bit higher quality as far as uh, when you run on them. They're very soft. Um, they're much softer than than like a road or kind of like running on a track. So they're very very good on your on your legs. And then you can also um, turn them on, and you can look at different things on here as far as. Um, tracks that you want to run on or roadways or different sceneries. Take your mind off of off the cardio. <laughs> it also overlooks the gym. And then we have a three-lane track that goes all the way around the facility. 
Um, so we have a few bikes up here as well, a stair stepper. Um, we have, I believe it's about eight, eight treadmills and, uh, and then a couple stair steppers and some bikes. And the cool curved ones. Yes, these ones are self-propelled. Um, so it's kind of, they, they don't have to be turned on. You just can hop on and you can start walking. Um, and these are just supposed to help correct the way you walk. And uh, some people can run on them, but you have to get, have to have good balance. And I'm not very good at the running part of it because it's a little bit different when you get on it. Uh, but those are kind of fun for people to try out. And then we have rowing machines as well. So, and then a couple single bathrooms up here. Um, and that kind of makes up, makes up our facility. And then if you want to come over here, you can see our, our track. Um, it takes about 10 laps to get a mile in. Um, so there's three lanes here. Um, and so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice track to run on. It's the same flooring that's in our gym as well. So everything is, is a really nice to, on the legs. It's not, not too hard on the joints and things, so. So yeah. And then uh, during, when we're open, uh, those shades are up and we have windows that look out over campus. So you're never just staring at a wall. <laughs> Do you guys have any other questions I can think of after seeing the facility um, that I maybe missed? Yep, just comment below if you have any questions. Okay. And then uh, now that's kind of our wellness center. Um, so we'll head over to the athletic building. It's just connected. Um, there's a little walkway and it connects to Lee Soccer Gymnasium or the sports center we call it. Um, and that building has I guess we can walk and talk, but that building has all of our locker rooms, spaces for our athletes, as well as our athletic offices for our staff, um, and then a couple classrooms, and then as a, and, and a golf simulator in a weight room. Um, so what we'll look at is we'll look at our new golf simulator for our men's and women's golf team, and we'll also look at our, our new floor and our upgrades to the gymnasium that we made. Um, and then, so people know that upstairs, we, won't, we don't need to go up there, but uh, there's an upstairs weight room for our athletes. So that's where our team athletes work out. So they're not working out in here amongst our student population. Can you talk a little bit about what sports are offered on our campus? Yeah, um, so we have, um, our fall sports are volleyball, soccer, men's and women's golf, and track. So trap is going to be in its trap shooting is going to be in its second year, and that's for men's and women's. It's a co-ed team, and then um, our winter sports are going to be uh, club hockey, and then it's men's and women's basketball, and our spring sports are um, baseball and softball, and then we also have what hunt and western equestrian, and um, I hope I'm not missing any tennis. Tennis. Yep, we have tennis in the spring. Um, and I believe that's all of them. Hopefully I'm not missing any. <laughs> um, so we kind of have, it's made of two hallways right here. Um, this hallway is some locker rooms and then our golf, our golf simulator. Um, so this is a really nice upgrade for our golf team uh, since they didn't, uh, you know, we're living in the northern part, we, they don't always get to go outside. Um, so this is a great place for them to practice. So they got some lockers. Um, and then a really nice uh, setup here with the golf simulator. Um, so they can practice shooting in there on different courses, practice putting, and uh, it's, it's about, I think they raised, we fundraised about 80000 to put this, this facility together. Uh, so that was a really nice addition that the university were able to turn. This was originally a racquetball court. Um, so I know when Ben Koisty was our student body president and he was on the golf team, um, he and a, a number of others in our athletic programs, along with Steph Helgeson and Jason Tankless, they really did a lot of work to, to get this up and running. And how recently was this built? Um, this was built, uh, I believe it was 2019, 20, 
Uh, I can't remember I exactly so. what school year, but it, it it was their first year last year that they were using it. Mm -hmm. Our last. Year. And then we dedicated our floor to uh, Gary Santi, one of our, our, our former coaches here. So it was a good honor. We can take a step in here. Um, so this is where our volleyball, men's, women's, basketball teams play all their games. Got, on this side, there's chair backs, uh, so once those come out, we can flip chair backs up so it's very comfortable to sit on. And then um, we just got a brand new paint job and dedicated the court to, to Gary Sensky, so you can walk over there and take a look at that. Thank you. 